All right, folks, this is your neighborhood nice friend, Yusuf, from another planet. All right, this is Yusuf Chaudhary, and I have my guest speaker, uh, uh, Rod Greensage, right here. This is Rod, okay? So today's topic is going to be, we are going to show you how to set up a basic Facebook advertising. So if you want to follow through, there's a screen on the back right there. I know it's kind of a little bit small, but hopefully you all can follow, okay? All right, Rod, go ahead, and I've got to do something real quick. I'll be back. Yeah, um, basically, like what I was saying before is... Uh, uh, my name is Rod Greensage and I'm with Focus for Marketing, uh, Focus and the number four marketing.com, an online company that does marketing uh, for social media, you know, whether it's, you know, Facebook advertising, Twitter for business, Instagram now has ads out there. I don't know if you know about that, but the Instagram is just now rolling out on their ads uh, and also Pinterest and, and other platforms. But today what we're going to be talking about is trying to help you guys out with your business pages and try to get you to to try and set up on your first ad of, of the day. So basically what we want to do first is we want to come over here to uh, Facebook.com and then after the .com I'm using his his laptop so we're going to put in ads slash manager. Oh, it's, yeah, you're right. It'd be nice if you spelled it right, Rod. Okay. Okay, and basically in here is where you have, um, where you would you would start to, to, to do your process. So uh, how many of you, are, are you there right now? Yeah. So, so why okay. do I have that? Yeah, that's that's where you need to be. That's where I need to be. So um, with him, I'm I'm having to use his. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can use his account. <laughs> Again, it's like I'm a fish out of water because I'm not. With, see, you're seeing something completely different here. You should see a screen here that talks about creating a campaign. So. Let me see if this will get me to the same place that you guys are. See right here? Here's where you're, where you're at. And here's some of the objectives, you know, whether you're going to boost a page or post promoting your page, which is uh, what the lady did uh, a little while ago with the real estate. She talked about that. Uh, send people to the website. Um, if you're developing an app, you can also do that with apps uh, to install an app, um, you know, or an event. Like I was telling you about, I was doing an event. So um, those are all some of the areas. You can also get video views. Video is viral now. Make sure that you have a great video that you can upload. Don't use a YouTube video. You know, you want it to be native. You want it to be in there. YouTube, you put on a YouTube, what happens at the end? Then it, and it goes to somewhere else, you know, so. Not just that, when you, when you post uh, on Facebook with the YouTube video link, mm -hmm. what happens is that people can view it, right? But it would not count the viewership on YouTube. That's right. Does that make sense? Because Facebook is private, it's logged in, so it's gonna block it. Does that make sense? So it's better for you to actually have the video on YouTube, but at the same time, upload the video on Facebook directly, because that's what Facebook likes. If you are using the platform, they're gonna love you for that. Does that make sense? So I'm gonna let you kind of navigate there okay. if you want. You sure. wanna jump in at any time. Yeah, well quickly, because I, exactly what Rod set up, you have almost how many options? 10 options, right? You have like 10 options. So if you want more viewership, you can use the last one, get more views, that's for, for your video. If you want to have an offer, if you're a restaurant, a uh, yoga instructor, or a dentist, you want to give an mm -hmm. offer, like some sort of coupon, you can use, get people to claim your offer, or ebook, or some type, some, some type of training, right? Uh, this is cool, this is new, yeah. I don't know, I'm not this one. Raise attendance at your event. You know how, anybody used Facebook event page? Yeah. Alright, so this is what it means that if you pay for it, you get more viewership to the event page. Yeah, I was just telling them that I did that for a real estate agency. Right, and that was grand opening. You know, oh, awesome. And this is the new one: reach people near your business. Mm -hmm. So this is for the local mom and pop, anybody that has a local business that, that want more visibility. You select this option. If you have an app, this one, this two for the app, uh, and this one here, especially you do an affiliate uh, marketing, right? Yeah. You wanna select these two because you want the traffic go straight to the website. Okay. Promote your page, that's your Facebook business page. So if you want to get more likes, you go ahead and do it, promote your page. Uh, boost your post, These, this is the actual post on your Facebook that you want more visibility. Does that make sense? 
So it's up to you which one you want to go with. For today, I mean, do you all want to get more likes to the Facebook page or you want more conversion to your website? Facebook page. Facebook. You want the Facebook page, right? I have yes, go ahead. So for, let's say for reaching people to your business and you have to keep track and, and the business itself moves weekly, how would we use that function? That's a good question. On the local business side? Yeah. Um, because I know on Facebook they make you type in an address for your specific yes. business. So what if your business moves? How, how can you use that? That's a good question. What happened? Just like you exactly answer, this is for local business. That means you don't have a shop, if you don't have an actual store, then this is this option is, is, is not it's not for that. Okay. This is for let's say I have my own office, I have my own restaurant, I have my screen shop. Well a screen you know, shop, I, right? I'm not I'm not trying to contradict you, but I did hear somebody right. say that they can put in a, a zip code and then they can do a reach within a, a certain area. That is true, but there's a yeah. problem with that. Because when you put a zip code, they look at it as a customer, mm -hmm. I don't see the address. It's yeah. a trust factor. Yeah. So when, when you are a business, you have your actual address, there's a trust factor that you're an actual business. Mm -hmm. So this is for local, just like the, just like the Google uh, business page for local right. visibility, right? That's what it's for. Does that make sense? If you want more customer to find you locally, if you're a dentist, instructor, teacher, whatever, this is what it's for. Like this place, Venture Point, they can actually run this one if they yeah. want to get more visibility, more customers. Does that make sense? That's what it's for. Does anybody have a brick and mortar? Anybody has a brick and mortar business here? No? Okay. All right. So, so, so you said you want to do an ad to get more likes to the business page, right? Mm -hmm. Anybody else wants to do something else besides this one? What about blogs? Which is this one, the website. Send people to your website. Oh, okay. okay. Here's another thing real quick. Um, think of it this way. If you want more people to like your page, right? That basically means you, you want targeted, interested market to like your page because whoever likes it that means they're more susceptible to get your updates and whatnot right so this is this is that option but even when it comes to the page you have to be very strategic because what i'm trying to say you don't just want likes on the page somehow you have to collect the name and email address yeah. Yeah. does that make sense mm -hmm. because as a business you as a business you always have to have some type of full ownership mm -hmm. This is Facebook, you don't own it. That's right. They own you. So if somebody complains and they decide to remove your page and it's gone. Does that make sense? What if I point everybody to my website or somehow to my lead capture so I can have the email and name, you know, the name and email address while I'm using Facebook? Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Right. So the mistake that we, me and my Rod and myself see, the mistake that we see, and we talk about this, that when people do a Facebook page like ad, it takes them straight to the, the timeline of Facebook. But why would you do that? You know what I'm talking about? Like what I'm saying, like I might do an ad taking somebody. Let me show you right now. What happened to my voice? <laughs> so let's say if I take somebody right here, like I run an ad, right? If they click the ad and it goes straight right here, like to the actual, you know, like the business page, like this, that's actually not good practice. Can someone tell me why? Let's say you run an ad. You run the ad, you run the ad to get more likes to your business page, right? When I clicked on the ad, it took me right here, to this whole scene, right? Why this is not right, or why this is not strategic? It's not targeted, it's too busy. It's too busy already, you are correct, what else? That you are absolutely correct. So if you can send them to somewhere, do they still do that? Uh, I don't know. Do they still do that? Uh, what do you call it? The feed? You have to use a third-party tool. Do you use a third-party tool to have like, your own landing page? Yeah. yeah. What do you use for that? I use uh, I use an independent uh, company called Instapages. Okay. Uh, and you can, can you work that on the Facebook too? Uh, I don't use it in Facebook. I use okay. it on my own. On okay. My own what I'm going to say, there's a way you can probably use it on Facebook. Yeah. So when they like your page, I think that there are some apps though within Facebook yeah. that allows you to do a call to action. It's called a call to action. When you want somebody to be a part of your email, you know, like what are you saying? You can be banned from Facebook. Something could happen to your account. It could be taken down. Maybe it gets hacked. Whatever. You don't truly own Facebook. Here we go. You know, so 
This is Kim Garst, mm -hmm. right? She's like a pro in social media. Yes. So if she runs an ad to give away a free ebook, this is uh, one of the tabs. The ads, right? Yeah. One of the tabs. So I land here, and all I see, wow, free ebook. I'm gonna get it. So I, I hit two things. I like the page, and I subscribe to the list. See, that's that's more strategic. So for instance, if I if I log out to show you, I'm gonna copy this link. So how do we get them to like the specific tab instead of just like our page? Excellent question. Well, there are actual tools within Facebook um, on that page. Uh -huh. They're called, I think they're called apps. I think that's what they're actually called. Uh -huh. you, can, you can look it up on YouTube to do a video on it, uh, but you, you create an app which allows you to take you to this and you can create that. So basically what happens is when you click on this, it then takes you to, it may take you to an alternate site or it may just allow you to start to download it because it sends it to your email, but you are automatically joined to the email list. So, but there are apps within Facebook that allow these tabs to be put across your Facebook page. Yeah. So the URL that, she, that he just copied, that's when you actually put the posting, when you're actually going to create your posting for whatever uh, you're sending them to a page or the likes, you can put that URL in there with that is pointing right to that yeah. free Twitter ebook. Yeah, because I already followed her, that's why it won't give me that option. If I don't follow her, it will tell me, like this page and yeah. get the copy. Right. See, this is more effective. So when you run the ad, this is the actual link that this landing page is setting on it. Does that make sense? So when I run the ad to get more likes to your Facebook page, why not give them something of high value? And Kim did an awesome, awesome job on this because I got the copy of this. It's amazing. If you get a copy of this yeah. uh, ebook, she put this together with tons of tips and advice and whatnot. It's amazing value that she's, she's amazing. offering. She's, she's actually, amazing, she's right? Awesome. She's so, really so now awesome. people liking the page and getting something in return. Mm -hmm. So the mistake that most of us do is what? Like exactly how you said, they just come to my front page and it's all busy. They don't know what's going on. Why not make something like this, right? Then they can see how busy it is because they need to see it's busy. Because if it's not busy, that means you're not doing anything there. Right. I, yes? I thought Facebook got rid of that like, bait and put where you have to like before you can download. No, it's still, it's still, it's still here. Okay. You know, and not just that. But beside what uh, Rod said about having an app, there's a third-party companies that actually provide this kind of service. I just don't remember off the top of my head which they are. Okay, so you can sign up with them and use something like this and hook it up, and there you go. This is more effective than just having people like your page. Right. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Because this way you're building the list and getting them like your page. But Facebook itself does not give us the option to go to a specific tab. You can actually yeah. add the tab. That's what we're saying. You can yeah. add those tabs. They instead. have. Yeah. You can do that from within Facebook. Yeah. Yes. yes. But but can. Facebook by default don't have it. Yeah. That's your question. By default, they don't have that option. So you can search for an app and install the app to the Facebook page. Got it. Right. Or use third party company. I know Nathan, who. Let's see, Nathan. You know the name of one. Yeah, hey yo, I think it's one. Double check. That's Nathan's company. Uh, so that's another one. You see, you can actually make some cool design for your Facebook. Oh, I'll check them out myself. What's the pricing on that? Uh, this guy is awesome. I, I met him a couple of years ago. He was in the dorm, I don't know what college. <laughs> he built this business while he was in college. That's awesome. And he came to Rackspace, he came to different places. He's an awesome guy, Nathan. Uh, so that's the pricing. I mean, I can find for you guys free versions and yeah, look at the price, actually, 25, yeah. That's not bad actually. So there are many companies, there's this one, there's PageMojo, but let us, Rod and myself, find some option on the Facebook app store itself. Mm -hmm. Plus, if you have a MailChimp, you can actually use your MailChimp or any email marketing services like Airweber, MailChimp, they have that feature where you can connect it to your Facebook. Yeah, um, the constant contact is who I use. Um, it is a little bit more pricey, but with Constant Contact, you not only, uh, they allow you, they have customized where you can create something along those lines so that when you're actually creating the lead, you know, it makes it much more cost, uh, customized and it, and, it, and it shows your brand and things like that. Um, and it comes, it's great for newsletters too. I'm not trying to plug Constant Contact, but that's who I use. Uh, they have a lot of templates you can use for your ad, your email ad campaigns, you know. Okay. So any questions so far? Yes. So I'm, I'm confused now because I'm a neophyte at this. Which, so which one would you recommend to do if you're just getting started? If you want, uh, it's a good question. Which one should I use, right? Yeah. All right. 
So, so you say don't don't promote your page. You don't need to do. Live. No, no, no. If you want to promote a page, you can. Okay. That's, you, that's the option is here. But today, you ask us to do an ad for a page, and anybody else asks us to, to do another ad because there are different options. Nobody has an app here. Anybody has an app? Mobile app? Okay, so we're not going to do that. Yeah, we're not going to do You that. have a page. We're going to show you how to set up an ad to get more likes on your page. We're going to show you how to run an ad to get more traffic to your website. Okay. If you're selling something, if you're e-commerce, if you want to get, build a list of followers, you select, you know, send to your website or increase engagement, I'm sorry, increase in conversion on your website. We might do a test with an affiliate. I can use probably SiteGround, set up an ad to push more traffic to SiteGround website and see if I can make some sale because for every sale, SiteGround will give me $50. So we can set that one up, okay? So for you, we need to probably have you come here and set up your page maybe. Or maybe you can set up our page, you know, what, what does it well, matter? We can bring people up here if you want. Okay, so right. well, let's, show, let's go ahead and show you. So, the, so if you want to get more likes to your Facebook business page, so the option is number two, this one right here. Promote your page. Okay, so let's go ahead and select that. 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 Okay. Okay. <laughs> So there you go. Now is asking me which page that I manage or have access to, I can select. As you can see, there are probably many. Okay? So we're gonna select my page as a test. There you go. So I'm gonna select my page. Okay? So there you go. I selected my page. That's my business page. I've never run an ad. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so this is my business page as an example. So I want to make sure that you're all following, following with me one by one. If, if you get stuck, let me know. <clears throat> Rod can come in. I'll probably just watch it. I think mine says like recently flagged. Ooh, recently flagged? So, yeah. Recently so, flagged? Yeah, yeah. yeah. This time you're, you're, you're kind of in the water because of that. Okay. Anybody else? Anybody else need help with the page? Like, oh, I just got this. Yeah. You got that's, that's your page, right? Perfect. Okay. That's perfect. If I get more time to the page. So Facebook business page? I don't know. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Then, then it has to be yeah. this one. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yes, so that's your page. That's your page. That's your business page. Perfect. All right. Yeah, you're right. I have yeah. business on your on your, your browser. You probably have an ad block business, business that's stopping it. So on that main business, is uh, it may. But I have to make me up about one. This and there should be no problem. But it's saying right here that. But do you have any other page you want to test with? I have the other page. I can turn it to your business. Well, is let's go explain this real quick. Is this yours? Well, so we're gonna wait a rod for a second. Yeah, but somebody downloaded and I'm not sure what they did. So what business page you are? Well, we're to Rock on Wheel. Rock on Wheel. Okay, cool. We're at the other launch. Let's do it. Turn that. Get more followers. Just click on the on. That's your business. That's all. Now it's going to regenerate. See, now it's not on YouTube because now you have that on. Well, do you have content? Later on, if you want to put that back on, you can. How many content do you have? I checked with you now, and you should be able to get it. Ten. Page that you're to she, yeah, yes. I mean, how many five, ten posts? Maybe. That's fine, we have some. This is not empty. It was empty. It's not scary. Is that your, is that your yeah, flag? Okay, so let's see. Um, okay. Well, let me, let me okay. well, let me explain this thing real quick. There's a big difference between a Facebook like page, which is a business page, and a Facebook personal profile. Okay? <laughs> First of all, for, for, because you cannot use personal Facebook for ads. Does that make sense? So that's why you have to have the business page. The benefit of having the business page, you have Facebook Insight that shows you the uh, analytics. You can have unlimited likes. And personal Facebook, you cannot use it for business. Okay, you have a limitation of like, what, 5,000? Right. But you don't have a lot of things to do with the, with the personal. Anyway, so this is what you see. You select your page, right? Then you scroll down slowly. So now we have a few options for you. So we're going to stop right here. Yeah. So go ahead and Rod, explain to us yeah. what are these audience definitions. This is, this is the part that I really love about Facebook advertising because you can get very, very specific. Yeah, right. You can be as broad as you want and you can be as very specific as you want when it comes to advertising on Facebook. But 
Uh, in most cases, I generally tell people to start off local if that's where their target market is. So as you can see over here, this is the audience definition. This shows you how specific and how broad your, your, uh, your keywords that you have put in. Right now, there are only a few things that are put in there. Right now, it's San Antonio, Texas. It's the ages of 18 through 65 plus, and it's both men and women. And there's really not a whole lot. I don't know if he wants to scroll down. I don't think there's a whole lot extra in here. He's got interest of renovation, San Antonio, advertising, uh, exclude people that are on his page. That's another important thing. Sometimes you don't want to target those that are already on your page. You want to target those that are not on your page. So this is why he's got that there. And another thing is important if you don't want to continue to have to recreate that same audience each and every time, you can save that particular audience. So whatever keywords you put in here, you can then say save it and then it's going to give you an area where you can name that so you can make that a customized audience. So based on what he's saying right here, there's, it's right in the middle as far as in between specific and broad. Here's potential reach based on everything that's in there right now. 260,000 people that he's targeting only with advertising and those that are outside of his own business page. So that's who he can target. Yeah. Now, we could get much more specific here. And when I've done PowerPoint, when I've done presentations, I've actually dared the class to come up with an interest that they would not think that would be a part of Facebook. Uh, right. You know, I've done something. I'm a big, huge football soccer fan, and I have a team out of England that I love. And I, I did my own profiling on this once. I said, I bet it's not in there. And I'll be darned if it wasn't in there. I just went in there and put in, put in um, Everton, just in the Everton, E-V-E-R-T-O-N, football club. And there it is. Boom. Right there. So if I wanted to target people in England and just, that just were only Everton fans, Evertonian fans, I, I, I actually fr fr freaked out when I saw that. So one of the things is, and, and I think that the lady over here was in my class the last time we, we brought that up, there were a lot of things. Uh, Look at that. Smoke weed every day coming in. <laughs> <laughs> put in screwdriver. Put in screwdriver. Okay. Watch this. Watch this. You put in screwdriver, look what happens. Uh, are you asking for the screwdriver or are you asking for the drink? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's that specific. So uh, almost any type of interest that you might want to be in, say, um, you know, real estate, put in real estate there. The lady is in real estate. Um, so if you put in, uh, you actually have to have separate. There you go. Yeah, you say real estate, real estate broker, real estate <laughs> development. Real estate investing, luxury real estate, there's all types. Right. So this is what I suggest is when you're actually creating, now we're going to do some tests tonight, yeah. but I specifically would suggest that you spend some time thinking about what your ideal buyer demographic would yeah. be. Yeah, and before we move forward, let me show you another quick tool from Facebook that is kind of a little bit hitting. What's your question? I have a question. Yes, sure. Sometimes, like when I'm when I was doing um, the ad for, for my job, <coughs> there were things on. There was an interest I would have liked to be there, but it's not there. Can you add a new interest, or is it just what's on there is there? That is an excellent question. question. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing. Well, the way Facebook algorithm works, of course, I'm not going to tell you the whole thing. There, first of all, you have to understand that they have a database of all of us as a human being, right? That's a database. The way they run this is like this. They basically look at your profile to see what do you like in your profile, what's your title, what's your job title, mm -hmm. what's your expertise, what you've been. They look at the pages that you like. They look at the website that you click. They look, they look at the comment that you liked. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Based on those information, they will view your ad to them. Does that make sense? If you type something, it doesn't show up, that means that not a lot of people actually have it on their profile, or that means it's not that popular. Got it. Does that make sense? That's what it means. Now, it's frustrating because there's been times where right. I've been trying to add something and it, and it wouldn't let me to. Right. You know, so. Now let me show you something real quick, because what I want to show you guys, I want you guys to spend maybe like five, ten minutes to do some research. Oh, this is awesome, yeah. Do okay. some research, because you can't just assume who's your target market, right? So there is a link, you want to write it down, write down this link in a piece of paper. It's a facebook.com forward slash ads forward slash audience underscore insights. Okay? 
facebook.com forward slash ads forward slash audience underscore insight. Okay, so go ahead and write it down. Facebook.com, yeah, forward slash ads slash audience audience underscore insights. Insights. Underscore insights. So once you do that, go ahead, visit that website. And when you do when you do, this is how it's gonna look like. Let me show you some tool, you know. Yeah, so this is how it's going to look like. I mean, it is part of the ad, but you can do it before you're on the ad, okay? So the tool is going to show you something like this. If you see this, just let me know. When you see this on your screen, you let me know. Don't don't change the browser. Open another browser. It's open like another browser. Dash. Don't yeah, open, click on that right here. Click here. Open right another. Here. Yeah, open another browser, another tab. Don't close this one because you don't want to change this. Stay, stay, stay on the page. Yes. Okay, wait, what? Click right. this. Like that, that's this thing? Oh, that, yeah, yeah, that's a tab. There you go. Got Click on another tab, then open it. I'm sorry. Oh, no, no, that's fine. Uh, once he clicks on one of those two, it'll be just the same. Like, yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Ads, not ads, not ads. 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 So I'm going to make sure that everyone has that. Ads. Ads. And basically, with, with, you know, uh, what it will show. Hey, you want me to push on everyone on, on Facebook? We'll just wait for another yeah, yeah, so everyone has it first. Mm -hmm. Sure. That's fine. That's a new yeah. thing. Don't worry about it. It's just saying it's you tour. want to take the tour. You can, yeah, you can skip it. You can yes. uh, exit out of that. Um, Actually, I don't think you did anything yeah, wrong. Let's go ahead and back up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Audience? Oh, you did. Um, okay, wait a minute. Um, insights. It's audience insights. Insights. Yeah, so let's back out of that. And insights. I N S I G H T S. And I'm feel good at audience underscore. Uh, insights. There you go. You should be good to go right there. There we go. Yeah. Now you can just exit out of that that, that box. Um, yeah, right. All right. So you all see this, right? Go ahead and click that now. There you go. Okay. So I'm gonna do the same thing. Basically, what's gonna happen? Typically, it's gonna show you two options. Everyone, I wanna I wanna research everyone on my Facebook. I mean, everyone on Facebook or it's connected to my page. I don't need this one. Of course, by default, anyway, you are actually selecting everyone. Okay. Right. Now watch this carefully. So this is a tool from Facebook. What, what Facebook is going to do right now? You can do. You, this is good. Is awesome for people like Ryder and myself because we can meet a new lead. Because you know, some customers tell us, "Oh, my customer don't, don't exist in Facebook." So really, let's go right here and type exactly what you do, what they look for, and they tell us, "Well, there's somebody interested in bariatric surgery. Somebody interested in weight loss. Somebody interested in." So you do have your customers in Facebook. And this will tell us the numbers. Like how many, for instance right now, on the top it says United States. I can select different countries, right? But since I'm in San Antonio, I want to target San Antonio, right? So what I'm going to do, as an example, watch me, step by step. I'm going to come here, type San Antonio. And there you go, I picked San Antonio, okay? So right now, I'm targeting San Antonio, okay? Secondly, gender. So right now, I don't know my target market. I don't know the age for my target market. So I'm not going to mess with the gender yet. But I'm going to change the location because I'm in San Antonio. I'm going to run this advertising for my San Antonio market. I'm not going to go to the age yet. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the interest. Right. So since I do online marketing, I want to see if anybody wants SEO services. Nothing there. Online. Online marketing is here. See that? Somebody just in online marketing. So for you that one that keyword, you. there you go. So look yeah, at the age group. Mm -hmm. So first of all, there's a 50-50% chance. 50% women, 50% men. And the majority are between age 35 all the way to 54. Do you see that? And how many? Active, almost a thousand people. Thousand people in Facebook, 
they're logging to Facebook every, you know, every day for, for the whole month, and then just in all the marketing, this many how that I have. Do you see what I'm saying? So I'm gonna play with the interest. If I don't like this one, I'm gonna try something else. I'm gonna have to remove the interest. I can tell what else we should, we should put. Uh, put in real estate, you know. No, no, this is my page, so let's okay. say. So yeah. your page, yeah, yeah, okay. I thought you were talking for other people. Websites. So somebody that are interested in website, 400,000 in San Antonio that are active. And then interested in website. The majority that? are women, and from the age of 25 all the way to again 40, uh, 54. So when I run the ad, I can run the ad for those audience. Do, do you understand what I'm saying? So this tool helps you, and I can add more interest. I can add, I don't know, WordPress. I build on WordPress. I, I can add more. What I need to do, I can add enough interest, and at the same time, be careful. You might want to lower down uh, your audience volumes. Uh, what do you call it? The uh, scope. The uh, the. Uh... You know, what, what he's trying to say is, remember back when we were showing you how specific or broad you could get the audience, there was that meter? What he's, what he's saying is, is that you want to make sure that it's a little more on the broad side rather than vast. Because, you know, if you're really specifically targeting a specific niche, you don't want everybody because you're spending dollars on people yeah. that don't actually, you know, would be interested in your products Correct. or services. So you want to make sure it's much more specific. The thing that I like also is look that it went up to 400,000, 450. Yeah. But as he puts more interests in, that's going to start to bring down. Yeah. But you know, in, in case you're wanting to target specific people and you're not exactly sure if it's more women or more men, this will give you an accurate estimation of what you're looking at. And then you can be more wise when it comes to terms of spending your dollars on Facebook. Yeah, Does that absolutely make sense? right. Yes, and, and not just that. If you're going to hit 400000 do you think $10 is going to be enough? No, that means you're going to end up, you're going to end up paying more. But what if you get like a 10000 or 5000 maybe that $100 is going to be enough for that audience. Does that make sense? So it depends on how much you're going to spend. For our clients, we actually tell them not to spend less than 1000 a month. Minimum, to get the best result. But for us, you know, so-called wearing all kinds of hat on beginner startup, I would say don't spend less than uh, 5 or 10 a day. Maybe like 200 bucks a month as a test. My, my suggestion for my clients is yeah. $10 a day, which is yeah. about $300 a month. As a test. You know, so. Okay. So right now, you come to, everyone go there and write the interest. Like, you know, like me, I provide WordPress, I provide website, I provide social media. Social media, right? There you go. I provide those services. So what I'm doing right now, I'm putting all these interests to see how many people are interested in my services. Bring down your age a little bit. You know, sure. make it, make it uh, maybe from eighteen or uh, twenty. Yeah, there you go, to maybe uh, fifty-five. You know. Damn, ten thousand still. So the majority still women. <laughs> wow. Okay. That's pretty good. You know, it's a lot of people. You know. <clears throat> and that's just here in San Antonio, folks. That's not even outside of the parameters of San Antonio. That's 250,000 people that log into Facebook monthly. So they won't necessarily, so for example, my target market is business owners, small business owners with salespeople. Right. Because I, I, I can't do anything with a business owner. I, well, I could, but my, most of my business is with salespeople. See what I'm doing? They won't allow me to do it. Uh, well, what happens if you type sales? But sales? Yeah, just put sales, uh, sales consultant. Uh, sale agent, sales people, sales. There you go, sales. Uh, what about sales? Uh, Salesforce. There we go. Yeah. Salesforce.com. But That's what about sales management? Sales workers. That would be it. Also, sales consultant. Sales person. How about sales person or sales consultant? Sales consultant. Because you you train them, right? You train sales agent. Yeah. Try that and see if it comes up. Sales. Go ahead and put as many because we need to lower the number as too much. Okay. Uh, say, how about Google Analytics? Yeah, smart. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, put as many as you can so we can lower the number. Okay. And okay. Okay. Let's see what's the number. Um, where did it back up there? Uh, the, uh, let me show you. This is Mac. Once you go okay. manual, you'll go back. <laughs> there you go. It's still up there. Yeah, it's still so, up there. Uh, um, how about um, more? Uh, <laughs> Google AdWords? Yes, you're smart. You're smart. I don't know why you're smart. <laughs> it 
It's still two hundred and fifty thousand. People so. like my stuff, right? <laughs> Digital marketing. So take your time, folks. Go ahead and start researching. You putting in uh, any uh, interest there? Yeah, but you know what that I want to do in advertising. No, I would say it would go from like 30 to oh, 40. I'm asking what you to have that. What would you think if you think it's going to maybe look at that? Well, that's, that's, uh, okay, so you want to put those type of uh, keywords in there. So basically what that's going to do is going to allow you to see what your demographic is. So you see over here, you have 51% women, 49% men, and these are the age groups, that the percentages of those people. So, so the more you put in there... Right, that's exactly what you're doing, because what you want to do is you want to find out, you want to use your dollar smarter. So, you know, if, if, if you didn't know this ahead of time, and it were to show you... If, let me just back up. Let me rewind here. If you knew ahead of time by going through the insights that targeting 18-year-olds is very low, if you didn't know ahead of time that, that, that you knew that information, if you just started to do a campaign and you put in 18 to, say, 25-year-olds and there's no real market there, then you're wasting your dollars. And so, so this allows you to come in and see where... In, in your area, whether, that, whether that's here in San Antonio or across the nation or in Europe or wherever that might be, you can find out what you're most likely targeting. You're in the food, uh, food truck business, so you know, what you're gonna do is find out you know, what type of uh, age groups and, and demographics, whether it be more women or more men, that would be interested in something like that. So. Do you feel like is it possible to look something up by a specific zip code and say, Yeah, put that in there, put in 70, whatever that, that might be. Obviously, <coughs> that, but yeah. it just keeps on airing out. Mm. Like the San Antonio, yeah. it works. I know that I in you, let me just say that I've never actually yeah, done that, that in the yeah. insights, yeah. but I know that when you start a campaign, you have to put in the So you have 15,000. What I find hard to believe, you can get one win to the end. So that's what it's telling us. And you have 10 to 15,000, which is very good. Okay. That they are active in this. So you're good. So now okay. you can make this open. Okay. If you want to put more, like, yeah. Yeah. So sales, so sales, 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 you can exclude sales, 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 there you go. That's an awesome tool that I definitely encourage you. Now, you, can, you can train the agent too, right? So, yeah. Right. Yeah. And so that's what we were talking about. You, so you can try you and see. Because you want to when you scroll down, there's more options. Yeah. We need to go over the issue. You need to target first. Ah, remember tutoring. What's their name? Yes. What's their name? Yes. What they do? Yes. What they children? Yes. And what kind of yes. affiliations yes. do they have? Yes. Tell me more about them so that we can narrow down and find out yes. which yes. specific yes. markets yes. that they're yes. So as specific as you can get, that's going to let you know you more yes. where to spend your well, dollars. So, big, so, you know, I that's exactly what, think this is the best approach to go into insights first before we start the campaign. So you're doing it right. Yes. Okay. Yes. See, right now your audience is at 200 to 250,000. So, and you're doing 18 all the way up. So if you wanted to, so look at the page right here. Yeah. So, so this is uh, women on top, men on top. Yes. And so you have 44, 48 percent are all on Facebook, 54. On and so this tells you the majority of people that are in your interest, but the ones that are actually on Facebook is this, this is secondary. So, is that help? Yes. Awesome. Yes. Yeah, basically, also important. So what happened, basically, is telling you for the interest that you put, these are the age groups. 
Even the lifestyles is funny. The lifestyles will categorize what type of lifestyle people are involved. Cartoons and carpools. You know, what's that? Well, what that's basically saying is what is their relationship status with the people that you're looking at. So what you're doing is you're taking a look at all of that information and making assumptions to where you want to actually target. This is just to help you get some idea. Before you okay. yes. so you write it down, okay, the, the You're doing this ahead of time before you actually start uh, a an actual campaign. Because why do you want to spend money in an area that maybe people aren't interested in? So yeah, because they can clean. Right. Okay. Any more questions? Did you all do your research? Did you find out the age group? Yeah. Yes. Do you know why the age group is so important? Because when you run the ad, you don't want to waste your money exactly. showing your ad to somebody that are not that are not interested. So this tool is helping you out to tell you, so your target market, maybe the majority are women, maybe the majority are men. Based on the majority, I'm gonna target the woman, for instance. So if, 30, if 25 to 35 are the most popular in Facebook that are interested in my product, I'm gonna target them. So when the ad runs, they're gonna see it. Whether they click or not, that's a different issue. Does that make sense? But at least now you have some sort of information, some sort of database that tells you, okay, these are my target market, these are my customers, I gotta hit it. I gotta show them. Does that make sense? So you write down all this information. Now we go back to the actual ad, right? Going back to the actual ad. So for my situation, right? What I need to do, the age group that I have is from 25 all the way to 45. Okay? Those are the majority. So I'm gonna change, and look what happened. It became very, oh, it became well, very it still came back, but. But initially, when he had it at a certain area, that, that specific needle, you don't want to go too far into yeah. the red here. You, you do want to In go, the middle. Yeah, in the middle or a little more to the uh, right. specific side. And I saw the San Antonio. I'm, I'm heading San Antonio, 50 miles you know, from San Antonio. And I set up the Where's age you know? group. If I select woman, I can set up woman only as well. Does that make sense? <laughs> and uh, the audience right now, I have 160,000 people. Mm -hmm. That means my ad can reach 160,000 people in San Antonio. Does that make sense? And how, how, how much I pay, it will tell me how many can see it. So right now, Facebook is telling us for, for, for the age group, you have access or reach to 160,000, but if I pay 10,000, it will tell me only maybe 100 will see it. Does that make sense? So this is what you do. Now, watch this. I'm gonna go to the interest. I put advertising, I'm gonna also put, uh, Online marketing. There you go, online marketing. Let's see what happened to the number. Still the same. I'm going to put WordPress. Somebody wants to build WordPress on WordPress. I'm going to also put uh, the same there. Website builder, website building website. Right? My target market are small business. Right? Small business, uh, startup. <coughs> Startup, startups. So what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to minimize the numbers because 160 is too much. That means I gotta pay more to reach all of them. I wanna minimize my audience. So whatever I spend, I wanna make sure that all of them are gonna see it. What did you do real quick to get this right hand uh, needle in play? Well, you have to go back to the app. That's what I said, do not close the actual app. You have a two tab, one. For this and the other one for your ads. So how do I get over there? Do I have to be an ads manager? Yeah, you want to go back to the. Uh, yeah, create a you know go open up another tab and then go to facebook.com uh, ad slash manager. You know where you were before. So just put it in here and then facebook.com. Uh, backslash. There it is, right there. Just click on this one right here. Yes, right there. And then that should take you back to that front, um, front page where we're at. And then you want to go into promote your page. Um, oh, actually, it was uh, send people to your website. I'm sorry. So, and then put in your URL to your website. Use 
HTTP. What's the actual name of your website? Dave Teaches Sales. Okay, let's go back here real quick. Let's go promote your page. Let's just do this right now. Um, so now when you scroll down here, that's where you're going to see what we were seeing. You know, so. And uh, so that's where you're at right now. So, and the interest is where you're, you know, entrepreneurship, whatever it is you want to be. And if you don't like something, you can always come over here and X out. Any question I want to show you? Because you right now you have to select the city. On that, so. Select the age, between what age to what age. Then you can mm -hmm. go with the interest, like what interest you're putting. Like what about the interest in any part of the services? Because they help here. Put in Google AdWords. Well, uh, we, 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 were, we were doing this. Okay, so you write them? Yeah. We're at 38,000 people. How many? 38,000. Okay, that's not bad. How many that's people would be working okay, on this? Okay, you didn't do it right. I mean, that's up to you how much you want to spend. So that's fine. How much would 38,000 cost? Well, no. I'm going to show you. We haven't that's done that. yet. When we, show, when we go further, then you're going to see how much you're spending and how many uh, people they're going to be shown to. So go back with the ad. Mm -hmm. So, so right now you use the zip code. You can also do that, guys. You can actually select a specific zip code yes. for that audience to see your ad. You can do that. That's for I selected San Antonio. We were talking about earlier. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Uh -huh. And based on the inside, the age group that I found, the majority are interested in building a website or getting a website or some sort of online marketing uh, between, the, between the age of 25 to 45. Okay. Once you do that, I want you guys to do this. Once you do this, then when it comes to interest, add as many interests as you can within your services. Like something you provide that you think you are interested in. Does that make sense? So, so that kind of interesting you need to write. You see what I'm saying? So uh, going back to the dollars, uh, you know, like you were saying, like Google uh, last night where, you know, the, when they would click, it would cost anywhere from five to... This is not Google. Okay, so it's Because in Google, do you pay based on click. Uh-huh. Here, yeah. it's not like Google. There's no clicking licky. Okay. Can I, gonna, can I make, yeah, go ahead. Can I make a suggestion? Uh, get Google AdWords out of your mindset. Yep. They're yep. completely different. It's like apples and oranges. They are not the same. The platforms that they use, when you're going to Google AdWords, you're actually the one that is pursuing uh, the, the actual interest there because you're putting in a keyword. It's all based on keywords. But in Facebook, it's the keywords are most... Are, are, Let's take keywords out of it. It's interest-based. It's behaviors. Every time somebody clicks on a like, or they share a posting, or they like a particular uh, advertisement, Google has this big, huge algorithm that they use that enables them to find out the types of things that you're most interested in, which is in one way scary, but in another way very valuable to business owners because that's how you're able to target them. And that's what's making it very, very attractive to small businesses because they can get very, very specific. The lady over here who's involved with the, uh, the food truck, they want to get specific in a zip coded area. Real estate agents, they want zip coded areas sometimes. You can get as granular, as very specific as within a half mile of a specific zip code. That's how technical you can get with these interests. So that's what makes it powerful. It's more about the interest of the people that you're targeting rather than putting in a search in Google, which you're doing yourself. So they're completely different. You cannot compare the two. You know, so does that make sense? Does that help? Any question, folks? You've got it. Uh, actually, you went up to 320,000. Yeah, I think it's going to go down. <laughs> I think it's moving up. we got to so do something about that. But well, how about y'all? Did y'all do this? I mean, did you? So potential reach of like 120,000? Yes, that's yes, a potential sir. reach. Now, when you put in the amount of money you want to spend, it's going to tell you out of that 120,000, what is the amount that you possibly could get as far as a reach? Yeah, you know. you spend the money that you put in. <laughs> the more we're gonna money show you put you, in, the more Yeah, we're going to show you. Once, once you put the money, we're going to show you. Show me the money, baby. What's going to happen? <laughs> 
You put in all those things, Rook? Oh, no, there's just the scrolling. You put all those in? Yeah, because I do this stuff, man. We oh, but you, you probably had one of your saved audiences, right? Yeah. <laughs> we do all this kind of stuff. Yeah. I thought you did it right now. I was like, man, you must have been super typing. <laughs> I'm crazy. Like the hearts on the phone. Yeah. <laughs> How are we all doing? Are we doing good? Should have put in Periscope in there. Did you have Periscope? <clears throat> Huh? Did you have Periscope in there as a keyword? Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Look at that, it's in there. Periscope. So. Okay. Sweet. Oh, look at that, it went down. 230. Yeah. All right. So, once everyone, once you select the interest, you select the city, the area, the age group, you can go more, you can, you can, you can look at the demographic. Like here, more demographic. These are all of his interests that he's got right. lined up. Like per married, single, let's say you want to target employees. Mm -hmm. You can target work, you can target the managers if you want them to see the ad. Right. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. You can go very specific, you can go industry type, job titles, employees, you can, you know, click on manager. So if I want to look, I want to basically target manager for a company, you know, I'm going to click managers. See, manager, managing director, product manager. Assistant manager, see that? If I want them to see my app, they can see it. And look how specific that got right there. Mm -hmm. That really drove down the specific uh, yeah. specificity. It's too natural. Yeah, I'm about to get rid of it. I'm gonna go. Now, yeah. Another thing is, I've told people in a class, like if you're a uh, if you're a wedding company and you're targeting, you know, obviously you're not gonna be targeting single people unless you know that maybe they have the the uh, the status of maybe engaged. That's probably, you know, you're, you're probably, you could go after some single people, but it might be better to go in the relationship status for engaged. Absolutely, so, because if you, know. you are selling wedding planning, wedding planner services, you're going to look for people that are engaged. Mm -hmm. Single so relationship, pick engaged, because right. they're the one who's going to buy the most, right? Exactly. If, yeah. you, if, you, if you sell cupcakes or cake for wedding planners, you're going to select the, the manager, because the manager is the one that makes the decision. Mm -hmm. There's also a tab uh, for life uh, event changes. Right. Uh, now that is like if somebody's going through a divorce or maybe they're getting married or maybe they're selling their home, there is an actual tab that most likely to buy a home. So real estate agents can target those type of people. You can uh, also target the income, how much they make. Yes, absolutely. How much they make. You can target their income, what's the net worth. <coughs> This is, this is my favorite part of building ads, because I just love going in there and working with all Look the different that. I selected 100,000 a year. Yeah. Look what happened, drop it like 10,000. Oh, wow. So, so what do they mean by daily budget, $10? You're That's how much money you want to spend on your ads on a day. So if you tell Facebook that you only want to spend $10 a day, once it reaches that level, it's going to stop for that particular 24-hour period. So you can do it that way. You can do it by total budget. If you say, I only want to spend $300 on this particular campaign. And you know you can get very, very specific on how you want you, your money right. to be spent. And besides being very, very specific, folks, you can also look at financial. Like I selected anybody that makes hundred to like 125000 because that means they can afford my service. <laughs> that I select that. I don't want to sell somebody fifty thousand. Right. There's no point for that. Right. So I can and, and the number dropped from from ten thousand to like five thousand. Does that make sense? So but I can. Do they know how much people make them? Now, how do they know? That is not our concern. All we know that's what Facebook is telling us. How? Because they have the database. Well, it's it, you know it, that's true. But if you know a doctor you know that they're averaging probably a yeah. certain amount of money. So they can take the, the analysis from that. They probably use research companies also to give them that data as well. We don't know that. That's what, 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 uh, what he's so saying he's, is true. He's not very accurate. Ah, uh, I wouldn't no, say, I wouldn't that. say I, that. I would say that you would, you know, that they're, yeah. they're, they're pretty, pretty much accurate on that. I mean, you know, I don't, they have, Facebook's got a lot of money. They can spend the money on the ad, uh, on the research that they need, yes. and if they're yes. not accurate, it's not in their best interest to be inaccurate. Absolutely. Because the businesses that depend on them to get the advertising, they need to make sure that you're accurate. That is absolutely correct, and not just that. There are other companies, old school companies, Quantax. Quantax, if you go to their website, drop in Target, it will tell you the customer of, of Target. 
how much they make, who they are. These are old the system, they're not new. Yes, the true. database is new, it's not old. It's, it's not new, I'm sorry, it's old. So I'm sure they probably they have an amazing engineers that does all this thing. Yeah. Now, the reason I don't ask that kind of question, how do they know? Because what that's gonna do? All I all I'm gonna do, I trust their business because they wanna make money yeah. and they wanna make sure that businesses make money too. Otherwise, if they are showing us or showing our ad to something that doesn't convert, then we're gonna lose them as a customer too. And, and if I can interject something here, there are some things that I would suggest that you also take a look at. We don't have time to go over it now tonight, but take a look at Facebook's terms of service <clears throat> to find out what they do allow and what they don't allow. Because oh. one of the things is, is that sometimes people will put in more than 20% words in an ad. And that is against the terms of service that, we're, uh, that Facebook has. Because why? They want to make sure that your ad looks as close to a natural posting as possible. The they don't want it to look spammy. They don't want it yeah. to look salesy. So there's some people out there that will blow up with text all over the place on the ad. They don't want that. They want it to be very professional looking and very, very solid. So if your ad ever is not... Um, if it's not approved, you have to take a look at the terms of service. Excellent, Rod. Now, does anybody have any question? Does it tell you if um, if it's professional looking or if it's acceptable or not? It will let you know that it's disapproved. In fact, there's another tool will tell you in your yeah. image. You have to read the law. You have to read the terms of service because you cannot have a picture with a woman showing her chest. You can have a picture with showing the belly for losing weight. You cannot show yeah. that. Yeah. So you have to read the terms of service. You can't um, yeah. you can't advertise uh, like pharma pharmaceutical uh, drugs. Yes. Now I will say that if you have holistic, I found this out because I went to Facebook's chat and uh, somebody was interested in in, in, in in selling holistic supplements. In general, supplements are not allowed. But I went to their Facebook chat and actually talked to somebody on Facebook. Initially, they told me, no, that's not allowed. And then he goes, hold on, wait a second. Let me find out from somebody. This was in an actual chat. He goes, these are 100% natural, aren't they? I said, yes, sir, they are. He goes, that's going to be approved. I said, can I take your word on that? Because if my ad gets banned, I want to be able to know that I can come back. Right. So it's extremely important that you take a look at these, those terms of services. Okay, Sorry. good, excellent. Now, when you scroll down, here we go. You see, if I pay $10... Only 700 to 1800 will see the ad. And, this and my is target market is 5800 So if I pay more, if that's I pay... A, that's a daily a, budget. That daily. Talking about. If I pay 15 same thing. If I pay 20 Can you put $5? Now it goes up. You see how it went up right there? And this is on a daily. Now, uh, he can also choose a combined <laughs> total budget as well. But he's going to put in 25 That moved the needle up. There is a minimum? Uh, minimum is, I think a minimum is the dollar, Dave, but you're not going to get very much with the dollar, you know. Maybe $5? dollars $100? There you go. Uh, you're, now, you're, now you're approaching the $100 for the full yeah. amount of that audience. So if I pay $100 for one day, they're all going to see it. That's, <laughs> that's, that's daily, sense. though. That's daily, you know. So. That's daily, right? So what y'all can do today, we want to run two ads, one for the page, because we're out of time, one for the page and one for the website. So let's say you want to test it, test it for a week, put like five bucks a day for seven days, see what you get, okay? If it's working very well, you're getting the likes you need, continue. If not, then you got to go back and tweak it, okay? Because the ads are going to be approved manually. It's an automatic. Okay, if I want to promote my event that is finished this October 30, after the event is finished and it's gone, what happened? Excellent question. What happens is, let's check this out. By default, it says run my ad set continuously. No, you don't do that. You select this option here. Ah. The start date and the finish date. Okay. So for today, I can select, uh, let's say, to, what is today? Today is the 29th. Yeah. Maybe till mm -hmm. October, let's say the, Sunday. The event is the 30th of October. Okay. Till Sunday, if I put like 10 bucks, for instance, let's say $10 a day, it will tell me my total is 50 bucks. Yeah. I'm spending $50 to run for seven days, right? And only 1,800 people can see it. Not bad. And rest assured, they will not go above your budget. They're yeah. not going to do that to you. They will put that stop on it. Yes, ma'am, you had a question? So in your past experience, how long do you feel like an ad should run before you see any results? Forever. I'm just kidding. <laughs> that is um, Excellent, Excellent question. question. Yes. <laughs> well, that depends on you. I wouldn't run a short ad because the result is not 
enough. If you want to get more data, that means you have to run it longer. So with all our clients, we actually do like six months and above, but if they cannot afford six months, we tell them minimum three yeah. months. Mine? Yes. Because if you want to get an actual data. Well, so, she would, but I think what she's asking is, is say, that, say your question again. How, like, how many weeks does an ad need to be on Facebook before it's effective? Before you get... Oh, you mean to be approved? No, no, no. To be effective, like, to get people to... Click okay, but see, that question, we cannot tell you. Yeah. Because it depends. My, my suggestion is that you do split testing. Now, yeah. what split testing is, is that you're taking two ads that are very similar. They may have the same picture, but maybe what they, what they call copy ad, or which is copyright, whatever you're trying to tell them in the ad, whether you're trying to entice them for something, change that up, or maybe you'd use two different pictures, but run the same... Uh, wording on the ad. So you want to see which one and then maybe something in the demographics. Maybe you want to put men in, in one ad and then women in the other. So you're doing split testing that way to see which one runs better. Me personally, what I do is with, with my clients, I take a look at all of their demographics and then I will run ads against themselves. I will compete them amongst themselves and which one does better, then I take and I compete them amongst right. another. So, that's my philosophy, that's right. not maybe so, necessarily yeah, his. So, you know. so based on the experience, it depends. Yeah. If you pay more, that means more result. Yeah. If you pay less, low result. Does that make sense? The more money you pay, that means more exposure, more numbers, more for you to test. Does but that the, make sense? the ultimate thing though is what is the conversion that right. you're trying to get? Because you know? if I pay a dollar a day, what kind of result I want to get? Nothing. Does that make sense? Right. So let's say you want to test a really good, let's say $10 for one week. Every day, ten dollars. But you can see, okay, is the ten dollar bring bring me the enough like, bringing me enough conversion? If it's working, it continue. If not, then it's not. The other thing I like about the website version of the ad, I can have six images of the ad. Yeah. Then Carousel. Facebook will run all of it. Then it will tell you which one actually got the most click. Then you're gonna pause the one that didn't do good and continue with the one that did good. Yeah. In fact, let me. Uh, when I'm done with this, let me show you what we did with the, uh, the San Antonio Alamo Film Festival because they contacted me like the day before the, like the week before the event <laughs> and we have to do something real quick. So we run a quick ad and we show you what happened with the ad, okay? Really? I'm interested yeah, in that too. Yeah, yeah. So, so the thing right now... She has a the, question. Yes. So for uh, tax purposes or tax write-off, oh. what do you plan to, to give to, you know, because that, that is an expense that you're accruing right. for your business. Uh -huh. That's so, write-off. It yeah. is a tax write-off. Yeah, if you're using it for your business. Yeah. yeah. So, so, do you think? What do you do? Do they send you a receipt, or, or how do you? Use it? Uh, yes. You're yeah. gonna get an email. You get a receipt that this is how much you spent. Yeah. The okay. the main email address that you use, they will send you. Not only that, but if your ads are approved or whether they're disapproved, uh, but yes, they will send okay. you that. The state. So, so based on this advertising, if I want to get likes, my ad for like seven days it will, sh it will be shown to like up to like eighteen hundred people. Now, what they're gonna do, I don't know. I can run this test. Okay. So when you scroll down, make sure like how much you spend in total, and this is for the page line. And of course, I'm gonna leave it, get the most likes at the best price, that's something mean automatic. That means Facebook will do their best interest to help me out with that, and that's it. Okay, and I'll just, and this is how the ad, uh, what is this name right here? And yeah, uh, this is important, you wanna make sure that the naming of the ad is what you want it to be, because it has to be something that's interesting and of value to you, because you may be looking at that ad later on to see which ones are doing better. So you want to make sure that you customize that ad set name. You know, I, I've done a class and we could go on, but we're not going to do that. But okay. there's different tiers for those so, campaigns. Yeah. You know. So now we have any more questions because we're done with those part. We know the price. We know our target market. We right. know how many people can see it. That's the price we limited. We selected the date. When I scroll down, and here's the trick. Here, here's where you have this text that you need to make be a little bit creative. Because right now, my ad, first of all, is going to be disapproved because, as you can see, there's so many images and there's yeah, so many text. It, it, yeah. it goes above, it goes against the 20% text rule. So I'm sure this is going to be disapproved, okay? So now, I need to think of some sort of call to action. All of us own is a digital marketing firm that provides services in the area. That just digs out from the page. I'm going to change that. I'm going to change something to, let's say. And, let, and I'd like to say something about the wording that you put in your ad. The one thing that I tell people, if you're going to do them on your own, what you want to do is you want to have something that is cut and dry. Have a question, like for instance, are you interested in selling your home? Question mark. That's either yes or no. Now you can do other types of, 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 of types of strategies, 
but you want to make sure that you're eliminating those that ultimately, even though you're targeting them, there are some that may not be in the target. Right. So what he's doing right there is asking a very simple question. Now, uh, going back to what you were saying, leaving the, the ad, so you can have up to like, what, five, ten ads? Of course, you're paying for each That's for something else, not for this one. Okay. No, that's completely... Not for this one. Yeah. Not for something I'm going to talk about quickly. Okay, that's for the website. Okay. You can have images. I'm going to show you later on. Okay? okay. All right. So what do you think about this, Rod? Is this good? Should I have something more? Are you looking for an affordable online marketing service for your business? It's a very, it's a very simple question. Either they are or they're not. Right. But it's also enticing. Is that okay? He's saying affordable for your business. You know, so it might be saying, oh, hey, you know what? Hey, I'm interested. Because you want to make sure that the ad that they're going to... Facebook is a social market. It's, it's, not, it's not for ads. So you have to make sure that whatever you're trying to entice them is interesting enough that they'll say, I want to go away from Aunt Sally's wedding or my brother's new baby being born. Now they're interesting. So why should I click on it? What's in it for me? So what he's doing is he's, he's providing a good ad copy ad yeah. to try and entice people to click on the ad. Yeah, you have to make, exactly what Rod said. You have to make it very interesting because if you just say, we provide service in San Antonio, full of stuff. That doesn't do anything. You don't make a statement. Engage with the audience. So when you run the ad, you're like talking to them. Hey, are you the one that's looking for, I mean, I'm talking with a business owner. Are you looking you know, for a portable service or are you looking for SEO under 500 bucks a month? Are you looking for this? Then like the page. Does that make sense? Now, how can I remove the image there? What's, What's that? that? Uh, you didn't. What happened? Remove. Uh, the, select the images. Oh, okay. Yeah. So now, oh, there you go. How many? Can, uh, here you go. I can select the images, but the images cannot be, like I said, the images should not have more than 25% text. There's a tool you can use. I don't know if you yeah. have the URL for it. Yeah, the rule. Yeah, yeah. the tool. But I'm gonna, you know what I'm going to do to keep it simple? That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to Canva. Okay, I'm going to go to Canva and make an image for the actual ad because Canva has that option. So when I go to Canva, I click more, right? And scroll down, it's further down. It's uh, Facebook ads. Uh, 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 right there, there you go, yeah, Facebook yeah. ads. So yeah. they already have the measurement in Canva for Facebook ad already. So I don't have to worry about the dimension. So I go to face, uh, canva.com. Now I can make an ad. You can use some of their artwork or you can upload a photo, which he's already got some photos in there. So, but you can yeah, add whatever you want. Are free, some of them. But this guy. Hey man, what the heck you got my <laughs> I was in New York City by the way at that picture. I love New York City. Beautiful place, you know. So I can add a picture of San Antonio, I can add a picture of myself if they know who I am. I can do that as well. Right? I can add a funny picture if I want to. There you go. Look at that one you supplied. Yeah, I want with this one here. So this isn't gonna work. I don't know, it could be comedy, that can help. I don't know. He's stretching it over the canvas. And you can put in some wording. You just have to make sure that the wording you 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 use is not more than twenty percent. Yeah. Plus, this is like kind of people going, "Oh, what, the, what picture is that in the ad? What what is this?" Right. <laughs> so we can add a text like right here, right here only because that's twenty percent, right? Right. So we can add a text right here. You know, click now or get it now or call me now, whatever the case may be. Can you do it here? Yeah, you can do it here. Yeah, you just put in text. Go, text. go into the text. There you go. Just add the text. And you can slide huh? these over into it. Yeah, that's right. Canva.com. So uh, we use this all the time. He's the one that got it. He, there's another one for photo editing is Pick Monkey. Yeah. You know, Pick Monkey. Yeah. P I C M O N K E Y. Pick Monkey. Uh, there's others out there, but these are. Yes, indeed. <laughs> no, yes, I need help. Okay. <laughs> that's clever. <laughs> Red, red, red. Look <laughs> what I'm going to do one second. Yes, I need. There you go. What I'm going to do, I'm going to change the. Red. Germania. Canvas awesome. Y'all need to use it. Germania or. Uh, and make it bold. And let's see what color we need to put here. Red, you said? Yeah, that's it. Yes, I need help. <laughs> yes, I need help. And now the next thing, are you finished with it there? Yeah, I just, just, I just come up test. here and go to download. 
and, and what that does is it allows you to download it to your machine. Okay, and now, once that was downloaded, let me go back to the ad here. I'm going to remove this one. And the parameters of that ad is now going to be consistent with what Facebook is looking in in Facebook ad. So you don't have to worry about getting all the uh, parameters, the dimensions. I don't even know them off the top of my head because I use Canva, you know. So. Oh, cool. Look at that. I can add up to six images, even for the, for the page. Six? Yeah, mm -hmm. up to six. So I can add six of them. Then Facebook will tell me which one works. Which one gets most visibility? Is it cost? Yeah. 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 Cost exactly the same. So how do they do the split based on the number, like evenly? What happened? Facebook will release the ad. Okay. Okay. When you go back on the ad section, I mean, on the back of the right ad here, here, it will tell you which one clicking, which one of the six getting what click. Right. And also, it's also about those that there are some people that will have actually X out of the ad. So it's it's called relevancy. The, the higher your relevancy, so if, if, if an ad that was showing a certain picture got clicked out or is that, I don't want to see these ads, that might go against that particular, you know, uh, photo. Or it could be just the activity that is being generated on the specific types of photos, which one is getting the best results for you. But you so. change the picture. Well, you, what he's saying is you can add up to six. Six. Okay. And then Facebook will, will alternate yeah, yeah. those. Oh, and then based okay. on the best results, it they, will show that that one is You don't good. have to go in and, and change No, it no, you don't have to. Now, you can, but you know, in this case, what he's saying, the strategy is put out six and see which one gets the best result. Okay. But what you could also do is you could take two different yeah. photos Run them with the same interest of and di the demographics that you're looking for, and then you can see that way too. There's there's multiple ways. See, I'm looking at the text. <laughs> huh? yeah, that's clever. I still am not clear. Uh, you say that, that it's not by click how they charge. So how if I pay ten dollars a day, how do they uh, do they charge those ten dollars? Well, don't think Google. Yeah. Thinking like Google again. Thinking Google. You're thinking yeah. Google again. And, and you have to. Uh, plus, okay. My question to you: Why do you want to know that? Like, what does that? What does that do? Uh -huh. Yeah, but what does it do to you? I mean, Facebook will do their best. What? Remember, when we went up here, what did they say? They say if you spend fifty dollars for the whole seven days, Facebook will show it to people anywhere between seven to eighteen hundred. That's what they're gonna do. So That's it. Ten dollars a day. They are going to $10. No, that's what I'm saying. They're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna probably charge five dollars a day tomorrow, maybe seven. It doesn't matter. What Facebook gonna do? They're gonna do their best for the whole fifty dollars. They're gonna show to this many people total, not every day. This is not every day. That's the whole total. That's what they're gonna see. Does that make sense? So based sometimes, on, based on the ad, based yes. on the budget you put in, you can expect that this is the amount of people. It's not, you know, it's not so much right. how much is it. And plus, clear. because we are choosing Facebook Like, that means whoever likes, they're just going to get it. You're not paying for the click. No. Does that make sense? So, yes. Yeah. Right. Yes. So, I should have uh, done Google classes today. So, <laughs> right. So if you want $10 and like you said, they use $7, does a the, dollars the idea is this. Think about this again. Think about this way. The idea, you give them 50 bucks. Right. For 50 bucks, they will do their best to show my ad. That's all you're concerned. Okay. Don't worry about the rates of the Yeah, they're going to make sure because if they said we're going to show it to 700 to 1800, for sure the 1800 will see it. Maybe on the weekend, there are not a lot of people going to see my ad because they're probably not busy in the weekend. So basically what Yusuf is saying, let, to be honest with you, there is an, there is a, uh, an auction that's going on, yeah. but it's irrelevant because what you need to see is just what your average, how much money are you wanting to spend, and it will tell you how much you're going to reach in that day. And it is invest. And another thing is your your ad is really really good in terms of relevancy, meaning that the more people like that ad or are clicking on it, the cost per click, if you really want to get down to it, will go down lower. But again, what Yusuf is saying is correct. You don't want to concentrate so much on that because it's not Google AdWords. It's completely different. You want to concentrate on the budget that you're wanting to do, whether that's a daily budget or a campaign budget, the entire budget. And then you're wanting to look at the total numbers involved as far as how many people you're going to reach. And again, that's why it's important to take a look at your insights ahead of time so that you can spend your dollars more wisely on the people that you know that is going to target based on the insights that you see. Does that make sense? No, that's one. <laughs>
And, you know, it, you know, it's all test. You it's can all get real test. technical, but you it's can not put easy, anything. You, know. you can put a picture of a freaking diaper. It's all <laughs> test. Test. It will tell you which one works, which one doesn't. So don't worry about it. Because when we did when we did the ad with the film festival, uh -huh. one of the main picture was City of San Antonio. And all of us says, nah, it's not going to work. And guess what? You got the most click. Yeah, that's the thing. It's like sometimes I'll say, you know what? I think this is going to be a great ad. And sometimes it, it doesn't do as well as I thought. And then others, I, I, you know what? That's not going to work. And that's the one that surprises me. So there is a little bit of trial and error involved as well. You know, there's many, many. I'm sure that, uh, you know, Yusuf and his team can say the same thing. That the same thing surprise you all the time, you know. Um, okay. So, because so we're running out of, go ahead, any question? You're going to show us the one for the film festival? Yes, we will. But we'll have to go move forward. So I don't have time to go so that more. they can actually okay. see the, the, the picture here. That, see, now this is what the ad is going to look like. You have, click on this, right? you have the text here. Are you looking for an affordable market? I don't know. I'd be kind of questionable if I see that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But, <laughs> All right. <laughs> but at the same time, you see how your pictures are going to look when you put them in there. Because that's the exact size because off of Canva. So I Can definitely you recommend you going to Canva. Um, oh yeah, uh, take a look at it in, in, move, in mobile. Um, and then you can look at it on the right as well. See, these are, you can remove them. If you don't want the desktop right column, you can remove that out. Um, this is actually the cheapest, but it's also probably the most least effective. This is how the mobile look like. The that's how it's, you know, yeah. your, your ad content will still be in there. It'll be kind of a little bit more scrunched up, but you know, you'll still see it. And that right there, when that fits on your phone, that's a lot of real estate that's on your phone. Unless they're really scrolling through quickly, they're going to see that ad. And if it's something that you, if you're planning marketing for, for weddings and somebody's about to get married and they're scrolling through and they see that wedding dress, do you think that they might stop and take a look at that? Yeah. Girl. Absolutely. You know, so that's, you know, so. So we are ready? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I'm just gonna place the order. God knows it's gonna work. But you guys see this ad? You're actually like gonna page. place the order? Hell yeah, man! It's all about testing, you know. I thought you were just joking around. I'm gonna know? place a damn order. You know what? Yeah. That might be a good salesman for yeah. you. Yeah. You know, you're usified now. We don't mess around. We, you know, we're business owner. We freaking pay. So now, what's happening is it's in review status because what uh, go what Google, what Facebook does is they have an automated process that goes ahead and they use a certain rules to say whether that ad is going to actually be approved or not. Yeah. Now maybe later on, I've had this happen, I put in an event, I put too much text, it got approved initially, mm -hmm. but then later on somebody <laughs> came back in and they disapproved it. Yeah, it's manual, you know, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's manual at, at first. Yeah, okay, but, so I run the ad, so if you guys see it, do like my page. <laughs> <laughs> that was for the baby. You can also share it, okay? I'm going to like it, man. So it. Let's, let me go do a quick show you because I have several accounts here. Um, How much totally you put? $50? Yeah, it's not a big deal. And the other thing is sometimes that can be approved uh, within minutes. Sometimes it can take a little bit longer. You know, um, the automated process is generally, generally pretty good with that. So. so there you go. As a quick example, let me show you. And we did it like in weekends. We did it from Friday till Sunday. I'm interested. Quickly, in this, yeah. okay? So, so there you go. Let's see. So ticket sales? Yeah. So... It was very fast, within a few days. <laughs> Let me show you all the ads that we run. Let's see. This one. Yeah, there you go. You see that? So... This ad right here with Dolph Lender, just a movie called Skin Trade. Okay, it got like 23 click, but it reached 1800. And the cost was only 50 cents. Total, total ad spent $12. Okay, this one right here, uh, again, Dolph, 13, 1800 reach. This is the one with the San Antonio City. Okay, 800 reach. That's how much I spent. But if you look at the relevancy, so the first one is highly relevant. Look at that. So the number is between zero to ten. Ten is the highest. And right. That's what you want. So you I got seven business. on this one. That means very relevant. So this ad right here got the highest. If I click on this one here, if I click on the sample of the ad right here, is it what happened? Did I show that? So at what point in the campaign are these results available? Is it mid campaign? Week Actually, they're real time. They're real time. You can take a look at them at any time. Once it, it usually takes probably um, after I've gotten approved to actually see results. 
Sometimes, uh... There you go. See? That ad with Dolph. And he's supposed to come to the city, but he had a surgery. Okay? Yeah, Dr. Dolph, you know, the actor. Oh, uh, the Rocky movie? You know, yeah. the bus break. Yeah. yeah so it. that's him. So that's the ad. This is how the ad looks like. So we did, because we don't want the image to be uh, disapproved. So what we did, we put the logo, Dr. Lundergen coming to San Antonio. Right? This was the highest one. And of course, the, come see international cinema and celebrities at the Leila Quarrel, September, whatever. And that's it. And when people click book now, it goes to the Eventbrite, so you can sign for the ticket. This right here is your call to action, but this can be changed. You can change your call to action to be, uh, what is it, uh, visit, uh, learn more, right. more info. Absolutely. Um, and we only spent like 40 bucks. I think 45 or 40 bucks for the whole three days. But even then, I think it was great because the total click was almost 80 uh, three click out of 3,000. It's not bad, it's very small, but it says people actually clicked on it. But to get back to her question about when you can see actual results immediately, like usually after you start, once you're approved, it'll take some time before they actually start showing the ads to people. But once they start showing the ads, you'll see the actual results. I look at mine daily. I look at them every day. You know, so you will see those results in real time. So. And you can, if you have to provide this to a stakeholder, maybe there's a boss or somebody that has to be in, involved with that, you can, uh, if they're in, as an, I think it's an, ad, as an administrator, you can email them that, or you can do it in a, you can download it and you can provide it to them that way if you need to do those on a monthly basis. So. This is the one the data is not going to work. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. so who's going to look at this? Well, they did. Actually, they did get a lot of clicks. Yeah, yeah I wouldn't think that would work, to be yeah. honest with you. See, I, but I, don't it did. Like, I don't like the color here, but yeah. hey, we're wrong sometimes. Yeah. You know? That's why you have to run the test. Sometimes what we think, that does not mean that's what people are going to do. What was the relevancy on that? Uh, seven, eight? That's one, uh, six. Six? Yeah. But it got the most results, huh? Yeah. Wow. So, but do, do you see what I'm saying? That's why when you put images, you will see out of the six which one. So that's why we actually paused the other one, left this one and Dove's and the skin tray on. Because they were getting the most, most uh, click. Does that make sense? Yeah, basically what he means by pausing, if you're having multiple ads, you can click on pause and to turn that off. So you, when you turn that off, you're no longer being charged for that ad. So they didn't want to spend more money on that other ad because this one was doing better. So that's why they turn that one off. Here's the tab. Oh, he, he turned away from it. But yeah. the tabs that allow you to turn it on and turn it off. Once you click it to the side, you know, and, and, and there's a light. There's a, usually a, a lit up there. You, once you click it the other way, it's now off. It's no longer showing that ad. So. Okay. Any more questions? You all running it right now? Five dollars a day, minimum, for seven days. <laughs> Let me know how did it go. You can also add me as an admin, so I can look at it. Yeah, it's all the money, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so back to my ad again. So that's running already, okay? Now I'm gonna make another one for affiliate. I'm gonna make another one to basically point to a website, not to a page, okay? For that one, we'll kind of run it out of time. For that one, I'm gonna select, send people to the website, to your website. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna select my affiliate link. Okay, okay, right here to the website. Hopefully it's gonna work if it doesn't because it's an affiliate link. So there so you go. allow those affiliate links as well? There you Usually go. Usually like if it's a valid awesome. URL, it allow you. Yeah, so that's my affiliate link. So people will see this ad, they click on the ad and they buy the service. Sweet. How did you make some money? All right, Ooh. so I can target anyone in the state. And in this case, I think he's wanting to target yeah. people because he's trying <laughs> to get paid. So. so what I'm going to do, I'm going to come back right here again. If I type San Antonio again, if I want to target people here in the city, and the interest that I'm going to use is, I'm going to take all the interest out. Okay. I'm going to start with WordPress. That means people that are interested in WordPress. Why is that coming up? Right? So let's see how many, 3,000, beautiful, from the age of 25, uh, what happened, what did it go, 25 to 3,000, what happened to the age, did I do something, why are you sitting there man, oh, I just, I'll tell you why, because, there you go, I think because it didn't change, I'm sorry? What site did you use? 
cook well, it's a service, it's a company, it's a hosting company. What was it called? SiteGround. No. SiteGround.com. It's a hosting company. You can start with an affiliate for them. Any, any, any hosting company, they have an affiliate program. Does that make sense? So I started as an affiliate. But you have to be careful because you have to read the, the, the rules about how to do affiliate and whatnot. So I'm not sure if they allow me, but I don't care. I'm just going to do it. Okay? <laughs> so, because they give us, how, how do you send all these customers? So this is a company. I want to make some cash by promoting this website, right? This company service, correct? So I'm going to go there. And it says here, uh, people that like WordPress, the majority from 25 all the way to 55. So I'm going to select... San Antonio, Texas. We're gonna target people here in San Antonio, Texas. They're interested in WordPress and the age group. What is it? Twenty-five. Let's go fifty. Let's go. Uh, fifty-five. So people in San. Oh my God! Nine hundred thousand. Woo! They like WordPress. Okay. That's a lot, right? That's a lot. 40 minutes. Scroll down and now put the interest. And how many? 4,000, perfect. That's all I need. So for this, uh, daily budget, it says if I pay $5 a day, 190 to 500 out of 400, we'll see it. But if I want to pay like ten dollars, then only eight hundred you're gonna see out of the four hundred. And that's a little bit as you notice, they're running the ad for the page, the prices and the reach is a little bit different than running an ad for a website. You see what I'm saying? Because even for ten dollars, I'm still not even reaching enough. Yeah. That means they want me to add more. Does that make sense? So I can run this that's test. Based on popularity, how many people are actually doing it, you know, so you know, and I can run the same ad like probably till Sunday. I can pause it any time. Fifty dollars. Yeah. So there you go. So cost per click has changed in the clicks to website objective, right? So now cost per click bidding includes only link clicks from the ad to the website of that. That means when they see the ad and they click on the link, that takes it to the link. I'm going to pay for that. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So that's a little bit different now for the for the website. Okay. Unlike the likes for the for the page. So get more uh, link clicks at the best price, okay. So right here you have two options. You have link clicks to a website, uh, pay per impression, or you can do link clicks to a website, pay per click, or daily unique reach or impression. So go ahead and yeah, expand the, with those the, four the, options. The, the uh, cost per click, they will deliver the ad to those that are most likely to click on it, and you'll pay for every time they click on that actual link. The daily reach, they'll serve up a total amount to that many people in the day and this right here the cost per millennia that's they'll serve it up and it's a total charge for the thousand every thousand reach so they may say you're going to be charged five dollars for every thousand people it reaches yeah or ten dollars for every thousand so that's the, that's by impression yeah, by impression you can test all of it you can yeah. do which one works again you always have to test it okay, there's no blueprint you got to test it until you get your conversion that you need does that make sense uh, if I can add something that's completely off the topic of that, um, because we're running out of time, I definitely would encourage you to take a look at two things. Uh, you know, if, you know, you may have to do some research on it, but uh, retargeting pixels oh, yeah. and conversion pixels. What are those? If you've ever gone to a website and then you've gone away from that website and then you go back to another website and now their advertising is showing up, like let's say for instance you went to Nike and now all of a sudden on your Facebook page you're seeing Nike out beside there on the column, do you think that's by accident? No, that's not an accident. That is what they call a retargeting pixel. So if somebody were to go to your website and let's say you're selling a product, um, I have a person that's selling handbags right now, she's really nice handbags. So Whenever they click on that, and let's say they went to the shopping cart, but for whatever reason, maybe they thought, maybe I don't want to spend this money, or maybe they got distracted with the kids, or with something else happened that went away from that tar of that shopping cart, we can put a retargeting pixel on that actual page that they were on. That w we can say anything that for the next 30 days, keep retargeting that person, or come back after they're gone 30 days and come back to them. So you can gently remind them 
to try and get them. So, but the other thing is conversion pixel is a conversion pixel is to show how many times they actually hit that page and were converted to that page. I think that's awesome. Uh, yeah, but, <laughs> here's the thing, but those are very important things that Rod mentioned. In your website, what happens when you install this Java this script? Yeah, it's a when script. When you run the ad, you give the option to add the script on the back end of your website. So if somebody finds you in Google, they find your website, but they, don't, but they did not do anything. They log into Facebook, and you're running an ad. Guess what? They're going to see your ad. Yeah. That's the cool thing about the pixel. So they're going to follow you. Secondly, you can if you have a list of subscribers or emails from LinkedIn. That's a tip for you guys, right? You upload those email, email to the ad, okay? That means when they log into Facebook, they will see your ad. And does it cost extra, the uh, retargeting the pixel? No, that's a free tool that you yeah. can get. It's just code. Yeah. And I'm sorry, I made it uh, complicated, but basically there's a way that you can put the code. Uh, when you finish running the ad, there's an option. It will tell you, would you like to add the pixel? You'll get the code. Then you have to talk to the developer and they'll add it from the back end. Yeah, you just copy the code or you give it, you can send an email to them. I'm sorry? Is this how Amazon Chase sent me? No, that's different. The Google Amazon, that's based on caching. Ah, okay. okay. But yeah, certain stores, you know, once you order from them. And it was a uh, retarget pixel and what was the other one? Uh, conversion uh, pixel, you know, retargeting uh, and conversion. And you can, uh, you know, you definitely want to make sure that you have somebody that knows your WordPress or your, or your, or your, back end of your website so that they can put that code in there because it, 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 you know when you when you when you do click on it it will give you that option to get the code you can email that to them as well so it makes it good but let me tell you that's a very effective way to retarget because if they go away from your shopping cart for whatever reason yeah it could be because maybe they don't like your shipping but it may be because they got busy and they just got you know they got off of it. and that is that I can also upload a video mm -hmm. for my ad I can also upload an image, multiple images, same rules, six images, same rules, okay? And, and I also have to select my page, did I select the page? I didn't select the page, where's the page? And if you're going to do a video, there's a, just a key thing, make sure it's interesting right from the beginning, Very because short. people have a short attention span. Very if it does not catch their attention in two to three seconds, probably less than that, you could lose them. You are competing against uh, a lot of people out there for their attention. So you have to make sure that whatever you're promoting or whatever you're saying has to be interesting from the get-go. I'm short. I'm very short. Yes. Because for me, more than two minutes. <laughs> yeah, two minutes. <laughs> two minutes too long, right? Does anybody else have any questions while he's doing that? Anything that you'd like to bring up? But have you found this to be informative tonight? Any more questions? Any more questions? I need the money. <laughs> you, want us, you want us to do it again? You want, us, you want us to do it again sometime next month? Yes. Yeah. Can you do a page on like how to build an effective like Facebook page instead of just like advertising? But like how can you make your page the most pleasing for someone to come look? You know, because a lot of times like when you're on someone's Facebook page is like, whoa, like there's so much stuff you just click on it, right? So I like, have something I use, it's called a Facebook checklist, but mm -hmm. that, I don't know if that's the same thing no, you're looking look for. I look at something like, I don't think Google's like, like Nutella, and they're one of the best, like, ranked Facebook pages. Like, mm -hmm. how can we build our page to look something like Nutella, and like, why does Nutella work? So okay, that is an excellent question, but here's the one thing you have to understand. It's not about the cosmetic, it's not about the beauty of the page. Oh, it's not about the content. It's about the content. Okay. But here's the rule number one, when you make a page, the, you know the banner of the page on the top? You utilize that banner. So I can show you some examples of how other did it. Like they have some sort of, like you know Kim Gar, she has some sort of message. Yeah. Does that make sense? Or there's some sort of call to action, like you know, there's an arrow. So for instance, if yeah. I show what's you... The, what's the name of that one site that has a really cool, was that Coke that did that one time? Where they had like this little loop and it says, and it points down and it's got an arrow to the like button. They don't actually tell you to like it, but the loop of their, of their brand goes all the way down to, and I thought that was a very, very clever marketing plan. Because they're not actually asking you for the like, but they are asking you for the like. I mean, if you look at Zappos, it's not that just normal. They're a well-known company, they're very well-known in the social, but look, one of the brands, and they can change at any time. Does that make sense? But you also have a purpose. If you look at, for instance, Kim Garst, yeah. right here, if you look at her Facebook, look at that. My free Periscope Jumpstart Guide is out. So she's utilizing her banner. And there's also an arrow. 
which means for this one, right? But what I did, I actually used an arrow to tell people because when somebody liked the page, they have to click on get notification. Because if you don't click get notification, every time Kim updates, I'm not going to see it right there. Does that make sense? So hers was very clever as we took the shop down. And right. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, I think this is maybe more catered to uh, a mobile phone. It might move over on the mobile yeah. to show the life right under there. So Kim is another one. Uh, she has a question. Yeah. Earlier, just real quick, so we don't forget it, you mentioned that there was an app that created those specific tabs. What is the name of it, or how do we access that? I don't know that. I don't remember to be I don't know I'll give it to you. Uh, because there's a third party company that can help you with that, but I'll. Uh, Twit, tweet, send a tweet, proper, uh, what do you call, direct Twitter messages or Facebook me, then I'll show it to you. I just don't remember right now. So this is Kim, very nice looking site. She's a social media expert, right? Okay, social media e-course, take your marketing to the next level. I can tell she did that in Canva there. Yeah, she did. She did that in Canva. So. Okay, so the idea is you can keep it very simple. You can have some sort of a specific message, right? Like your website, for instance. Does that make sense? Like, for instance, let me show another client here. Okay, so look at this one right here. You see this one? On your Facebook page? So, they do roofing, right? So this is for the roofing, because they do roofing. Their website right there. And, you know, some sort of tagline. So you can play with this. And what happens sometimes, if you have an event coming up, you can change the banner for the event. So the strategy is when you build the website, when you build the, a, a page, make sure you have a, a branded banner. Make sure you have at least 10 posts of content. Because if your page is not busy, nobody's going to stay there. Yeah. It's supposed to be busy. That means it's active. Something's happening. If it's empty, it's like sending somebody to a website that is empty. No, mm -hmm. Nobody's going to look at it. So which one is the banner? <coughs> the one with the pink header? This is the... banner. This is banner. Oh, that's banner. Header. And this is profile. Yeah, they're, they're, you know, that's, that's a very good point that he brings up. It's not just about making the ads, uh, ladies and gentlemen. It's also about making sure that where you're taking them to actually has something of interest and value to them. Because nowadays when people look at whoever they're looking at, they have a choice. They can go wherever they want. So you have to make it uh, in, enticing enough. You know, why should we go with you versus somebody else? So if they see that you're showing your company or your or your product, not necessarily your products, but your culture, your people, things like that. You Look know. at this one. We so are recognized yeah. as the best, right? They needed the phone number just for some reason. There's offside. And look at that. Click get notification. Very nice. And, and then, then show them the postings as well. Yeah. Is there postings in there? Yeah, of course. You yeah. have postings. They're very active. See. And it's not always about just selling your product. Most likely, the, most of the time, you want to show maybe something of value. See. They're, now, they're offering something in there, but there's also some others that just talk about, um, what, are, what are they doing? Once Sur the surgeons. So they're talking yeah, about weight loss. They're giving they, testimonials they, they, there. They, they get tips. They give motivation. There's stuff. just a motivational thing. So sometimes you can put those type of things in there and not just sell, 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 because yeah. people don't want to see you always selling. They want to see who you're about. Another tip, the best way to cheer yourself up is to try to cheer somebody else up. Yeah, they're just using a motivational. And, it's and a very, very they also way. share... A lot of content. So they also the before and after. Right. They share that, and I can see. Look, that's organically. You never had people saw it. Reached eleven hundred people. That's awesome. Man. A lot of conversations happening. Mm -hmm. Then there's a blog post. There's an event. They do a support group. See, there was an ad we run. Could you go back to the one you were just showing before this one? Mm -hmm. The company I work with, Kimberly. No, that one. Okay. So my question is, when we do our banner. Mm -hmm. um, can we have like our, our um, can you put anything like, like for instance on Instagram where Rob on Wheels SA. So can we just include that in there? Or like you put your YouTube on there. So basically we can put anything yeah, on there. Yeah, you absolutely could. The reason I put this because, hey, by the way, my ad approved. <laughs> there you go. So the reason I put this because I want to promote my YouTube channel. I put it there. So somebody joined my, my page. That's, that's what it's for. Yeah, see. Okay. Yeah, and see, that's this my, is not an ad. Too. Yeah. You know, this is that's not an ad, so you can put anything clever. in there. This is just on your cover, so you can put whatever you want. You know, it's only when you're in the ad that you're restricted on. Yeah, it. in the ad, I cannot put this. But for instance, if there's an event, I can change the banner to Absolutely. the event. Yeah. Like the, the, the workshop, workshop we do every month, I can do a banner about the workshop with all the schedule. 
Does that make sense? But in order for, to answer your question, to make your Facebook effective, have a branded banner with some sort of call to action, 10 posts, images and whatnot, then you fill up every single information. Because if I go to my about, you see that? If I go to my about, I have all the information about the address, hours of operation of my company, the phone number, how they can reach me, the website, how long right? you business, page info, you know, you know all, all this information, look at that. Yeah, make sure that's all filled out. Yeah. All filled out. Yeah, because it's empty. Mm. Yeah, nobody's gonna be interested in this. Some some people may not go to it, but you don't want you can't afford to make that assumption. Right. You know. Okay. So that's my personal here. You see this personal? Look at that. In the personal, I change the banner too. So yeah. I want to get more followers on Periscope. <laughs> Periscope <laughs> junkie over there, by yeah, the way. Yeah, of course. This guy loves Periscope. Anyway. You see, this was done in Canva. See this one? This was done in Canva like in two minutes. And we'll post it in Facebook. Like we can also put it in Twitter. We can also put it in Pinterest and Instagram. We can do all that. What did you have, man? Yeah, I don't have it, you know. <laughs> this is also done in Canva. If you have more than three priorities, then you don't have any. True. Look at this. Oh, uh, 3D, cool. uh, 3D That is nice. Printed. So I share stuff like that. You see, five million views, yeah. Oh, now Google's doing the same thing like uh, Facebook, the email thing with the target ad. Oh, is that right? Yeah, that's what it is. They're doing the same thing. Uh, they 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 caught on to something that was good, huh? Uh -huh. You know. See. Yeah. All right. So, uh, it's almost nine o'clock. We're done. You know, I, here we go, I don't have any cards. I left them at the house. It's the number one rule. You don't do that. But here, 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 um, here we go. You can go to you my... You follow his Facebook. Look at that. That's his Facebook page. Phone number. So sort of call to action. Focus for marketing. My name is Rod Greensage. Um, there's my number on there. You know, in, you, know you, you can give me a call. You can email me. I'll be more than happy to talk to you. Um, so let us know how did the ad go after one week. Yeah, <laughs> okay. absolutely. Let us know how it now, went. You know. If you all, do you all want another hands-on next month? Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay, then you guys need to show up. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I will do it again. And I would say that the next time we meet, we're going to assume that you have placed at least one ad in yep. there. We'd love to see how it's running. This is and, your uh, assistant. Yeah, no, that's, uh, that's Rod's uh, <laughs> no, that's just assistant. Like, you know, I just took a, you know, a nice little photo and I put that in there. All right, so. All right folks at Periscope, we are done. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. If not, I'm going to go ahead and end this. Thank you so much for waiting. I appreciate it. I hope you all learned this. And here's uh, Thank you. Rod right here. Have a great day. Thank you for the hearts. Appreciate it. Replay? Yeah, check the replay. It's going to be also in Catch Me. If you go to Catch Me, uh, Catch... Catch.me slash Yusuf Chowdhury. There you go. You can, you can find the replay right here. You can forward and rewind. So go check it out. All right. Thank you for the hot look at this, folks. Amazing. Folks waited for like an hour or two Cynthia hours. Scopes, Cynthia Scopes. Great. Thanks for being in this scope. We it's really kind of appreciate weird. it. We're talking to the phone and people are like looking at us like we're going crazy. <laughs> like, what is this guy doing in the phone? In, a, in an, an actual workshop. Chick. Artsy chick. Artsy chick. Nice to meet yes. you, Artsy chick. All right. Thank you, folks. I'm, I'm going to probably press scope in a few minutes. Get out. Get out.